Basically anything you want, as long as you're not in, in, initiating violence or saying fire in a crowded theater is not a protected right. The right to peacefully assemble, the right to peacefully like that, yes. Um, but what, but do you know anything about the history of uh, the fighting word clauses and other things like that? And, I'm unfamiliar. Okay. Um, for the lo- for a long time, uh, after you guys uh, originally had your constitution and things like that, you had the fighting words clause. So, if you use inflammatory speech, like, your mother's a fucking horny little bitch. Fuck her, she should die, she needs to go to hell, she's a fucking black girl, whatever. Like, okay, 
like those are fighting words. I'm like I'm fighting you now because you've besmirched my honor. You 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 have intentionally caused oh, so, so you've the, intentionally the, caused me the, the distress. The Foghorn Leghorn Southern character saying them's fighting words, buddy. That, that, that's, that's, that's a thing. That's, that's that an was, actual thing. That was and, a legal and thing. Southern, and, you know, and there, there's there's some truth to the Southerners. And I was. I mean, to be fair, in the beginning of the country, duels were allowed, right? We've we've moved yeah, on. So, and, and there's the idea of like we've progressed beyond that, but. Have you really progressed beyond that when you removed a method of retaliation against inflammatory speech and against inflammatory words, and you're like, you can't do anything now. You can just say the same thing back. Well, what happens if the only thing you can do back is, you're a whore, you're a whore, you're a whore, you're a whore. That seems like That's, peace to me. Is it really? It is. Is that peaceful? How is something peaceful? Is it peaceful because, is it peaceful because of the action? Or is it peaceful because of what the end result is? Is it a peaceful action to use your anger and to use your ill emotions against someone else? Is it peaceful if I like, if my if my partner came home and like knocked something over and broke a fucking picture frame? Like, I'm I'm, I'm drawing from something that actually happened, like from a picture I actually like, really like. Well, that's like, destructive property. There's is, laws is, against is, that. Is, but yeah, she well, said, it's, it's fine, but is, it, is, it, peaceful like for, is it peaceful for me to scream, yell my voice, call them names, and like, like, why do you fucking do this? You always fuck up, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's causing distress within a person. That's, yeah. That itself is technically a crime. If, if this is all peaceful, then why were there, if I have my numbers right, 14 arrests done, and Friday and Thursday, of course people were released after they paid bail, or some of them were released on their own recognizance, but is it really such a peaceful thing if police are already interviewing people beforehand? Yes, you have like. So there's, know, there could there's possibly the, be a the bias idea, like, in the policing and the mayoral office um, leading to them wanting both, to make arrests to, to, to. Both people say that, but like, what's the truth? And so, like. The, the truth is, last August 4th, it wasn't the Proud Boys needing to be put down by riot control. It wasn't, but then what about times before that? And then times before that? And what about I the mean, fact that there's. Messages between certain even, uh, even the May Day protest. The first thing, the first violence that was committed was Antifa throwing a drink at the Cowboys group. Going on the street corner and speaking your mind and saying I don't like communist shouldn't it shouldn't be legal to hit them at that point. Is my, is my there's a principle at work here. That's my thought. Uh, to try and force people to that way of thinking, yes, there's a principle at work, but is it a moral principle? I don't know, because then you have to argue morality, and what's the purpose of morality, and what's the idea of re behind morality? And is morality inherent and inherently found within truth? Can you observe morality throughout nature and throughout life, or is morality something that you decide on? And if morality is something that people socially decide on, then what happens when you have two, con two conflicting groups saying, it's okay to fucking have slaves, it's okay to do this, it's okay to do that, and then you have people on, on another side saying, no, it's not. But we don't have yeah, slaves in the modern context. Yeah, conflicting ideology. Well, uh, wage slavery exists. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, so, I guess what, what I want to say is, my position is that there's a very clear line you can draw. Speech is speech. Violence is violence. Violence is a crime. Speech is, is typically not. Is there a clear line there's, you can draw? Really? Yeah. When a lot of people are actively trying to take away the line a little bit each time and everyone's trying to you think there's an erosion of, of rights more, if, if more, so and which more. side is it no it's rights. conflating the truth and it's conflating facts and it's conflating ideology and it's conflating morality and it's conflating everything everything has always been truth campaigns and truth wars you've had that throughout hundreds of years if that's a lie and if things like that aren't true then why have you had spies for thousands of years why have you had people that try to control information for thousands of years um, I, I think things are a bit more uh, nuanced than. Uh, did you throw the first punch? Uh, no, because if that was the case, then why do you not simply jail people as soon as like you have a video of them punching? That is a person? great point. I think they should jail people the second they punch somebody on camera. See, but that doesn't happen. And why? It does happen. <laughs> not all the time. And not, why does no, it not happen all the time? Because Ted, Ted Wheeler doesn't want to have that. That doesn't happen throughout the states, and it doesn't happen in every state. You, you don't think people get arrested when they punch people on camera? No, not all the time. You should use, you can use defense clauses, and then there's, are there recordings of the events, and things like that. Is the uh, person present the crime, or was it something that was discovered out of the fact? There's a lot more things than just 
I'm trying to argue with someone on camera to try and get them to see my way of point. Mm -hmm. Things are a lot more nuanced than that. I'm sorry. If, if you really want to try and see how uh, enforcement other things work, then there are states that have open that have open media access to all crimes and most events related towards that crime and reporting towards that event related towards that crime taking place. Which is why you had the Florida Man Jump, because Florida is one of the few states that has the ability for the media to get all that information publicly. Okay. And so if you really want to learn how you can enforce things like that and why someone would not be arrested whenever they shoot someone else or immediately or why people would be interviewed before they're being arrested or other things like that or why some people by using speech are arrested and put in jail and why others uh, throwing a punch afterwards or not and why the reverse happens and other things like that. Society is a lot more nuanced than that. Uh, to claim uh, judicial control and judicial overview and I have an understanding of things because I'm a citizen uh, I believe if people should want to talk about rights and laws and morality, you should try to learn the rights and laws and morality. I think it's a moral stand that speech should be allowed. Should it in all its entirety without any clause whatsoever? I mean, per the First Amendment of the Constitution, it's fairly clear. Oh, you should talk to some of the Republicans that have, uh, throughout history... Not, uh, are still I'm not saying Republicans have, have always been great. ...have written laws against... Uh, certain forms of inflammatory speech, sure. certain speech that you should not use in public and other yeah. things like that. Republicans have uh, banned books. Um, look, <laughs> you're, I'm on your side. They shouldn't have done that. But the, the principle is don't ban speech. It's not really speech, it's... Speech, speech is, expression, whatever. Speech has almost never been banned. It's more intentional. Uh, if you want to have a discussion based on speech, then you can uh, look at the... secondary and post-secondary educational training that people of the Western World Baptist Church have gone through and uh, the law schools that they have gotten their degrees from and then do examinations upon how they're not arrested by saying inflammatory stuff all the time. Right. And why they haven't been point. arrested. They shouldn't be arrested for speaking. Because sometimes they have been charged with $1,000 fines and they want to keep that hush hush. And when have they been charged with certain crimes and when have they not? There's misinterpretation of the law on the part of the police, but I'm telling you, saying God hates whatever or protesting a funeral is not in itself illegal. You can be arrested by a cop who doesn't understand the law. You can be charged by a DA who doesn't understand the law. That doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's not legal to say whatever you want, as long as you're not saying there's a fire in a crowded theater or saying, I'm, you know, let's all kill blah, blah, blah person on whatever day. You have rights to what you think. So but that's the thing. To, I do, right? But I also am <laughs> kind of done with this because it's just circular and you want to try and convince someone that, aha, I was right all along and I'm sorry that's not happening. So I'm, I don't really I, want to I, talk I didn't think I was going to convince you, to be yes, fair. But. I know. You just wanted a spectacle. I understand. Yes. I know. So, all right, well, can have, you please leave? Of course. Have a good day. Thank you. All, all in all, not a great turnout. No, I shouldn't say not great. It's 10.06 a.m. And the protest is supposed to kick off at 11, so seems odd that there's so few folks here. No early risers, I guess. No kidding. Uh, I have seen it now. <laughs> much ado about nothing, personified. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Good. How you doing? Very well, very well. Can you safe out here today or what? I'm trying. Hell yeah. I, I figured uh, the safest way is to not dress up like I'm trying to get here. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I threw the old Bart Simpson shirt on. Nice. <laughs> Eat my shorts, man. That's right, that's right. So, uh, uh, are, you, are you on YouTube? Is yep. That, okay. Yep. On Portland, YouTube? Portland Andy on YouTube. Portland Andy, okay. Yep. I think I've, I might have uh, come across some of your stuff. I, Possibly. I'm, I'm on there as well. Can I give you my card? Sure, sure. Okay. I'll card. Right on. Might as well get some subscribers while I'm out here. Busting my butt. <laughs> Media Shadow? Yes, sir. Word. How long have you been doing the YouTube thing for? About a year. I, I just passed 350 subscribers like yesterday. Nice. Yeah. So. Are you live streaming right now? I am. Good? I am. That is what's up. How about yourself? How are you doing? 
I'm doing excellent, man. I'm doing excellent. I've been for like two years on YouTube. Cool. What's your beat? What's my beat? Yeah. I use live stream every day in my life. Really? Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, like, hanging out at bars, playing video poker, smoking cigarettes. I, I, I want to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I doing here? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Sandals and socks, that's, uh, that's a look. Yeah, I know. I, I'm going to have to get out of here soon. I'm making a, a small appearance. Sandals and socks. I wore these boots to Thailand for six weeks and only took them off to go outside what, twice. Yeah. You take them down to the beach. I wear them to the beach. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're comfy. comfy. They're like I was thinking, like, should I? I mean, go for comfort, right? But I was like, if I have to run, that's why probably I not. Hopefully, I'm not have to do any running today. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just, yeah, I'm just walking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud. I just want to see what your signs say. Collusion, delusion, patriot for prosecution of the president. No, <laughs> of the deep state, baby. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Can you see, I got the MAGA hat. I was there, like, that's. Baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, Love it. You got a couple of times. <laughs> Good morning, sir. How are y'all doing? All right. Fine. 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 Hey, I can't have any sticks on your sign. You know what? Welcome to the sign. I could okay. be outside the perimeter with it, right? Nope. Why not? Yeah. If you're, if you're leaving now, I can't talk. If you're, if you're leaving the sign, no sticks. Come off, come no. No. Yeah, you know, see how yeah. her sign like that? Just like that. Yeah. You know what? Uh, what sign? I don't. I don't have a sign. Oh, yeah. I don't have a sign. Okay, yeah. Steven's already pulled us out. Oh yeah. We don't have a sign. Yeah. Steven TDC Mike, Reverend Mike. Yeah. Thank you, sign. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Sign. We're gonna bust my shit up. I don't know. You're gonna break the law, right? What are we about to fucking carry? Sorry. Come on, Mark. Apparently, sorry. Hang on. Like I said, we don't have a screwdriver. Ah! Another man. Right on. Ah. Three or seven is well done. Thank you, thank you. I love this. I don't do it. Well, you got it there. Four way body. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, we're walking over to what I've been told is the Antifa side. That'll be interesting. Uh, I met, uh, apparently, um, Portland Andy, not to be confused with Andy No. That was fun. A lot of YouTubers out today. That's great. I haven't seen Tim Pool or um, any of the guys I've followed previously, but it's nice meeting folks that I have similar interests to, clearly. So, oh God, there's geese. They're coming. They're pissed today. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they just know something's going on. They think they'll be like throwaway. It's like, it's like when uh, dogs start barking before an earthquake, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they just kind of know something's going down. <laughs> there'll be some free food. There you go. The first uh, Patriot Prayer guy who showed up was standing in the middle of the field and I went, could you have picked a place with more goose poop? Honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't see anything going on. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's no, no fires. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, yeah, People seem pretty up. peaceful. Yeah. You guys having a good day? So far, yeah. Yeah, me too. Having a wonderful day. Oh, Thank it's you. good to hear. We uh, came up from Salem just to see what was going on. Sure. Just to watch. Cops with the flashers on. Yeah. Out in patrol. So are you, are you like... Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. I'm uh, Media Shadow on YouTube. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I got cards, actually, uh, if you want me to stop for a second. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Oh, God. I'm so uncoordinated. One-handed. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. That was not a card. <laughs> that was not a card. I was like, what is this? Oh, yeah, this looks more like it. Here, I'll here. give this back to you yes. so nobody else grab it. I appreciate that. You Property know, rights, right? What are you talking about? Mostly about how crappy Portland is. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why I moved. I moved here like three years ago from San Francisco, and I thought I'd seen the worst. Uh, but I move here, and it's like just I mean, San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, I hear they've got their own problems. They do. I, you know, I'll take a, a San Francisco. Oh my God! Look at the crowd over there. I'll take a San Francisco homeless person over a Portland homeless person any day of the week. I'll Pepsi challenge that shit. Because really? San Francisco homeless people seem to be. 
more on the hallucinogens and the Portland guys are on meth. So, <laughs> so yeah, that and all the political violence. I'm just, you know, I, was, I moved here and I was just disgusted immediately. Like, uh, I need to start, you know, <laughs> putting my voice out there. So yeah. Move out to the rural area. So the You know, it sucks. I'm a city guy, but there's no. <laughs> all the cities are just deranged right there's now in America. No, uh, regular city. There's none. And they're getting, oh. they're getting uh, more extreme and like separated. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you guys want to be on camera? Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just, I don't uh, know the rules. This is the first start. time I've ever uh, live streamed an event. So I don't know the the whole. You know, do you okay. walk up to people immediately with the camera? Do you put the camera down and then you say, hey, can I talk to you on camera for a second? I, I mean, I'd say you just, you just ask them real quick. Just let them know. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I will, I will yeah, like, keep that on my Well, thanks, man. Is it okay yeah. to put me on camera? Yes, it is. <laughs> Depending on who you ask, right? I give you my full permission. <laughs> I'm not going to sign anything. Yeah, fair. Um, no NDA is required. Verbal only. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> So, I'm wondering, are they, they must be coming across here. They, they got American flags. I'm thinking that's the uh, the cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> Let me zoom in real quickly. They are energized. So, is that them? It looks like, man. Did they post, like, a route? I thought they, like... I haven't like, seen anything. Huh. How would they know where to meet up? God uh, only knows. Hopefully, they don't start raining down shit on the, <laughs> on the crowd to the left. That would be a bad way to start. I don't see anybody with masks. Oh yeah, there. there's a huge crowd. I didn't even like, notice Let's, that. Uh, that must be the, yeah, that must be the opposing side. Oh boy. Hey, do you guys know which group is what right now? You know, I think the American so flags are a good indicator that that, that group <laughs> is the Patriot yeah. group. And uh, over here we got some Antifas, but I, I haven't checked I'm it out yet. Oh, I like <laughs> that. Nice. You're, uh, you're more into the anti uh, Proud Boys group? I mean, I don't like fascists. Fair That's enough. What Antifa is, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, then you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they use violence to intimidate people, so. Hell yeah. Can I get you on camera? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Ah, what a sweetheart. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I so. couldn't agree with you more. So, the initiation of violence makes one fascist, huh? What a concept. <laughs> I know. I know. I Like, everywhere we've gone this whole time we've been here, all I heard was, oh, you know, these, these uh, white supremacists, they shouldn't be allowed to assemble. They shouldn't be allowed to speak their mind. First of all, loving America is not being a supremacist, okay? Second of all, and and also, that's just not true in general, that you shouldn't be allowed to assemble because you have an opposing viewpoint. I mean, if you want to talk about the worst idea ever, that's the most dangerous idea ever, to not let someone with an opposing view assemble. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to intimidate people and make them not be able to come, and it's just not okay. It's couldn't, fascist. Couldn't agree more. There's some, uh, some action. Well, well. They it's going down. In, they sent in the cavalry. That is a that is a heck of a selfie stick. <laughs> I think that's how they found the Ark of the Covenant, isn't it? <laughs> well, you gotta line the gemstone up. Yeah, in yeah. That room just right. You subtract one kada for the God of the Israelites. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how was it, my man? Oh, yeah, it was actually pretty calm. Oh, okay. Yeah, down, NAACP speaker down there. I wonder if they had anyone from CARE speak as well, considering they were trying to bring everyone for intersectionality's sake. Other than that, they were just pretty casual, though I did find it kind of interesting. They had buckets stacked on top with the Antifa logo and one dressed with a clown costume with a peach on it. So the buckets might be for your throwing liquids? What are we thinking? Maybe for pooping him. There's not a lot of bathrooms. <laughs> well, either way, it's going to be interesting if they actually put them to use. Yeah. Yeah, baby! We ain't come to talk! We come to bring it out! He's not violent. If that guy's Batman, I'm a monkey's uncle. Bruce Wayne really let himself go. That's like Val Kilmer Batman now. You know what I mean? Standing up! Stop being a fucking apologist! Stop being a fucking apologist! 
Stop being a politics for your fucking people. They don't believe in that. Not they don't believe in that. 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 They don't believe Well, this is fun. Sardine now, wonderful. <laughs> Gotta get up and close and fucking watch people fight. Yay for me. This sucks being a sharp person, by the way. You look like fucking Tiger Woods, Somebody else will get this one. I'm, I'm not interested anymore. Ah, oh, people suck. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Maybe because you're a fascist, you got punched in the face. Oh, the rationale is great. I love it. God bless America, everybody. Well, that's a cluster. <laughs> that lady liked it. <laughs> oh my god. My arm is getting gonna be so tired by the end of the day. I am dumb. Why did I do this? Hey, we got a Jedi. How about that? And Batman. Batman's looking a little red in the face. Poor guy. It's hard fighting crime. It's all sound and fury signifying nothing. You want some water? No, I just have to do a birdie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, man. All right, we here, fam. We here. We out here like. So I see her wanting to kiss without the custom of Ted Wheeler. Ted Wheeler is all dead. Fight cops. All cops are going down there. Oh, you're not part of the group. We'll ask you to stay up there, please. How do you know I'm not part of the group? Hmm? How do you know I'm not part of the group? I'm asking you. I am. Don't be an agitator then if you go in. I won't. Hey, buddy, what you got in the bag? Oh, I got my tripod and I got business cards and a granola bar. And a Can I get one of your business cards? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Ha ha ha. Oh, hand one to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to touch you or your stuff. One-handed. It's, uh, it's a whole Hey, it's hard with the gloves, too. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, my earlier fears that this wasn't going to be a big deal or uh, way off. <laughs> that white dog is racist. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is the fun stuff. Everybody just peacefully assembling. Check it out, brother. You'll love it. All right, guys. The man himself, Joey Gibson. I always get. Do we look alike? Because I always hear that. short lived That was like a stripper version of uh, What's My Age Again. Play 30 seconds and it's on to the next dance. We're the hope it stays. And we're the hope it stays, but you know what they're going to do. They're going to come over here and desecrate it because they are filthy, commie trash. But that's okay. Yeah, man. We are trying. Just walking around, talking to people, spreading the love. 
American. Flag rockin' eagle. We're walking, we're walking. I've never had more of a Napoleon complex in my life. There's some big motherfuckers here. And me with no selfie stick. Shouts fired. <laughs> Oh, they left one man behind. Those asshole geese. Getting jiggy with it. Who picks these tunes? Alright, let's pump you up, right? <laughs> They'll keep you mellow, that's for sure. <laughs> Isn't that the objective? I, yeah, the guy, suppose so. Take that, haters, you're saying we only come here to fight. <laughs> Big Will, Drew Hill. Uh, uh, can't we just make America great again here? That joke works on two levels because you got the Pinochet helicopter meme, yeah. and you've got the uh, oh, third gender I'm an attack helicopter thing. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome! Yeah, it's good. This is your first one. Yeah, All right. I was just I just heard about it. I'm like, you know what? Fuck the news. Fuck mm. Oregon. I'm gonna check this shit out. It's a long way to Tipperary to the sweetest girl I know. I wish I could whistle because then I'd do the Bridge Over the River Kwai theme, but I can't. Oh, my secret shame, I can't whistle. No. Yeah. Is that like a shadow? character? Yes, the radio. At the end of every episode, I got who knows what evil lurks in the hot. Ready? The shadow knows. The shadow knows. <laughs> You have a uh, you have YouTube channel? Sure do. And what is it called? How do we find it? Media Shadow on YouTube. I'm also uh, Lamont Cranston on Facebook and Media Shadow One on Twitter. Very cool. So what is your, what's been your impression of the work so far? Have you been you know, one of these? I'm, yeah, I've been to a couple. Uh, I started YouTube last year, uh, mostly covering Corlin, how shitty it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, oh my god, there's, a, there's an embarrassment of riches. So, <laughs> so I, I showed up at like, I showed up at nine. And there was just nobody, and I was like, oh, well, I'm not disappointed that this isn't going to be a thing, because, you know, who wants violence, who wants the hassle? But, you know, I could have woke up early, I'm a little bit but, uh, you know, I got, uh, I, I was uh, not pleasantly surprised, but it was at least whelming. It wasn't underwhelming, the, uh, the final result of all these people showing up. So, I've never been to one of these, uh, yeah. I, I watched the, uh, I watched the live stream, and told the final always came out, it just seems very peaceful, very pleasant. Is it different than, than they've been before? On the, on the right wing side, it's always like this. They, it's all about happiness in America and American values and they're playing music and the dancing and shit. And um, on the deep side, it's always pretty grim dark. Uh, so, um, like last year, August 4th, there was a protest where they almost went to the same park at the end of the, the park last year. And uh, <laughs> they just started throwing shit and you know, they got hit with uh, riot, riot uh, smoke, smoke grenades or right, right, yeah. So, you know, I'm always anticipating it's going to be the left wingers that are.
evil lurks in the hearts of men. <laughs> the Shadow knows. Hi guys, Media Shadow here. I'm trying to grow the channel and hopefully get more than one video out a week. So if you like what you've seen, please give me a like, subscribe, share, or drop me some coin on Patreon. I've left a link in the description of the video. Thanks!